I'm going to show you how to use a chatbot, very simple, in Zoom. And the reason that you might want to do this is to ask some questions. So what I do is I go down to here. So I've got some questions for Zoom. Okay, I want to ask about, say, the personal meeting ID. So the personal meeting ID is that number that you get, and I'm going to call it meeting ID, my own personal meeting ID, and in fact, it's personal meeting ID, and so that's the number that you get assigned, which is a permanent number so that people can always come back to the same link for your meeting. But now this help didn't help, didn't give me all the details that I wanted, it probably does, but I'm going to be lazy here. And so I'm going to go to the chat bot. See down here on the bottom right here? So let me click on that. And I don't know, is there a real person on the other end? I don't know. Okay, so let's see what they say. Let me ask. So I want to ask for personal meeting ID. And that's all I'm going to ask. And I can ask, what is my personal meeting ID? So how do I find the number? I could click on that. Or... I want to customize mine so that it's got my name in it. Okay, so let me click on that. Customize PMI. That sounds like what I want to do. And so to personalize your personal meeting ID, you'll need to have a paid license. Oh, do I have a paid license? Not sure. And so I'm going to follow these instructions. I sign into your profile and you can just click on that. You can see that that's underlined. Well, it's still coming back. Oh, it's giving me more information. Here we go. I can sign into your profile, click edit on the right of your personal meeting ID, and then here's a screenshot showing them how to do it. And that's where you can enter an ID yourself. But it can't start with one or zero, and then hit save changes. Okay. And you're not allowed to use... Um, anyway, there's some restrictions on the digits that you're that you're allowed to put in place in order, that sort of thing. Is that what I was looking for? I click on yes, or else I say I still need help. So I'll say, yeah, that was good. And this is what I was looking for, right? Well, that's it. Glad I could help. So that's it. And then to close off the chat bot, all you do is go end chat. You hit this X, and then we're done. Sure you want to end? Yeah, that was not a mistake. I do. Bye-bye. And then we are done. So using that chatbot can be pretty helpful and it's really a way of searching through their help documentation.